Hello and welcome to Trust News Summary. I am Husseina Usman. Senate will publish names of ministries, departments and agencies of federal government that fail to defend queries Auditor General of the Federation raised against them. Senate President Ahmed Lawan said this while reacting to the presentation of report of Senate Committee on Public Accounts on 2015 report of Auditor General of the Federation. A federal high court in Abuja rules on the application filed by former Abia State Governor, now Senator representing Abia North, Oji Uzo Kalu, seeking leave of the court to stop EFCC from rearranging him from for retrial in a 7.1 billion naira fraud allegation. Kalu is tried with his firm, Slock Nigeria Limited, and an ex-finance director in the state, Uday Jones Udeogu, for their alleged complicity in diverting 7.1 billion naira from the state's coffers. Tafa local government councillors have suspended chairman of the council, Ibrahim Ija, over allegations of a 40 million naira fraud. Ten councillors signed the letter suspending the chairman accused of illegal sale of a piece of land belonging to the council. Assets belonging to Senator Abdul Fatai Buhari has been taken over by the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria. The agency accused the lawmaker of unwillingness to repay a 600 million naira loan. The corporation says it took action after securing a court order to sell the assets to recover the loan. And in business, president of African Development Bank Group, AFDB, Dr. Akinwumi Adeshina, says the economy of Africa has lost over $190 billion due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Adeshina, during the AFDB's 2021 virtual annual meeting, added that the pandemic has forced 30 million people into extreme poverty and an estimated 39 million people could fall into poverty by the end of 2021. In sports, Cristiano Ronaldo has scored his 109th international goal in Portugal's 2-2 draw with France at the ongoing Euro 2020. Only Ali Day scored 109 international goals for Iran between 1993 and 2006. The latest landmark by Ronaldo makes the 36-year-old to be considered an all-time great. And with that, we wrap up the news summary at this hour. Don't forget to join us later on our news updates. You can also follow us across all our social media platforms. I am Husseina Usman. Thanks for watching.